Luke, two weeks since our last game. How's the time off been for you and the players? Mixed. Said it in my programme notes. Bittersweet. Obviously, um, not featuring on the FA Cup first round weekend was hard to take. Um, but then, on reflection, being able to get some tight bodies, some little niggles, better in terms of longer rest and recovery for the boys that have gone and played regular game time, travelled up and down the country in the relentless month of October. So we worked them hard. We, we've worked on a few bits this week with regards to where we feel we can hurt Maiden Ned and it gave me a luxury to an extent to go and watch them first hand against Rotherham on Saturday just to see where I believe they can hurt us and where we can hurt them. And a 1-1 draw with Yeovil in our last outing, another side at the top of the table that we've matched and we're unlucky not to come away with all three points. I, on reflection, and I watched the game back, I've probably watched it two or three times since we've played them because of the time we've had off and the 45 minute period from second half to the end of the game I thought was fantastic. I felt that we kept knocking on the door. When you're standing there on the sideline for long periods, you missed the Kieran Murta header, you missed the Shabu chance, Kane Smith pulls off a great strike on the edge of the box and the goalkeeper Stuart Nelson makes a great save, you feel that it's not going to happen for you. To then go and score in the manner in which we did, I felt the pattern of play is very relevant to how we set up and how we try and get into the final third and the finish from Cavs was magnificent. So if we can represent what we did in that second half period for Saturday, I think we can get a positive result. And Maidenhead come to Meadow Park on Saturday. They've had a very similar season to ourselves, but another chance to go back to winning ways. Obviously, there's an opportunity for us to get back on the horse. We've not won in our last three. Yes, we've drawn the last two in terms of all the shot on Yeovil, which starts an unbeaten run, but for me, it's about getting wins on the board. And like you said, they're in and around us, Maidenhead. I love Dev. I think he's done fantastic at Braintree at this level. And you see what he's done at the work with Maidenhead at this level. He's a fantastic manager. He gets the best out of his squad. I saw that on Saturday. They play for him. They work hard for each other. It's not going to be easy. And I harp on every week that no game at this level is going to be easy. They've got personnel in their ranks that can cause you problems. And we need to make sure we nullify that. And we have an opportunity. We've been rested up 14 days. Works for you and against you. Can you be a little bit ring rusty? We did play an in-house game on Saturday just to try and give the boys that haven't featured as regular as the 11 that go in week in, week out to give them a little bit of game time. So I'm hoping that's aided us. We gear up, we've got a session tomorrow and Friday to really hone in on where we want to go, get to and hopefully we can perform like we did at Yeovil in that second half period and get yourself three points come Saturday. And they've had a week less to prepare for this one. Do you think it will affect them or the game in any way? Possibly not, possibly. I can imagine the conditions didn't help them on Saturday. That was the weather and obviously going down to 10 men with, with Massey coming off on the 56th minute. Um, I think they're generally fit side like every team in the National League. No matter what, if they're part-time or full-time, people don't take this league lightly. So players will look after their bodies, will maintain their rest periods and when they need to go and do a little bit extra. So yes, they probably had six to seven days less rest time than us probably exerted a lot more energy than what we did on Saturday with our in-house game. But for me, it's 11 v 11 on Saturday and we need to make sure that we're nine or 10 battles better off come the 90 minutes.